Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel and checking out another product review. Tonight, uh, I don't think it's going to be about a beard product. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about another outdoor product uh, on a company that I've done before, actually a couple of their items. Uh, tonight, we're going to do another one of their items. Sound like a record. Uh, this company is called Venture Forth, and it's a nice uh, travel company. Uh, if you like the two videos I did before, stick around. You're going to really enjoy this one. This is the beginning of meditation. Welcome back guys. Thanks for coming back to the channel and checking out yet another product review. Uh, tonight's review is going to be about uh, a company I did, as I said uh, in the intro, uh, a company called Venture Forth. Uh, they're a travel company. Uh, they have uh, travel accessories, uh, sleeping bags, uh, pretty nice travel stuff. The few items that I have went over, uh, if you guys remember, uh, a little travel fanny pack, a little bag to keep your um, basically your wash accessories, wash room uh, accessories. Uh, I did a tactical backpack and, and I did a sleeping bag. Um, tonight, as you guys can see right next to me, uh, the last sleeping bag that I did was a really nice sleeping bag. Um, I've used it a lot of times. Uh, actually, me and my son have used it quite a few times. A really warm, comfortable sleeping bag. It's made out of polyester. It's really breathable, uh, so you're not in that sleeping bag all sweaty. You know, it just it, you, you get the air. Um, tonight we're going to be talking about his big brother, uh, and we're talking about this guy right here. And if you can see the size difference, here's the first one I did, and here's the one we're going to review tonight pretty noticeable difference. Before we compare other things, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stick around, watch the video if you like it. Hit that thumbs up button. And of course, to keep up with all my content, hit that notification bell. So, as you'll see, it's a pretty noticeable difference. I mean, it's, you know, weight-wise, I mean, you really can't tell this one might be a, just a little bit heavier, but we're going to break this thing out. I'm going to show you guys like I did before. Uh, I've used this too, and me and my son, we like to, I don't know, play, play hide-and-go-seek, uh, and this was his favorite hiding spot. This makes it a better hiding spot because it's much bigger. We're talking much wider, uh, and I'll show you the difference here in a minute. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Got my trusty old phone here. I'm gonna go over a few specs um, of this sleeping bag. Uh, actually, you know what? I think it'd be easier if I put screenshots up right here to kind of compare the, the two. Um, between the two, this being the three season sleeping bag, uh, this being basically a summer sleeping bag, uh, 2.9 pounds, 4.2 pounds. Um, this one uh, was 29.5 inches wide. The other one is 31.5 inches wide. Uh, same temperature, uh, 40 degrees to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, kids and adults up to 5'11". Um, this one was late spring until early fall. This is early spring until late fall. 16 inches high, 9 inches in diameter, 16.5, 11 inches in diameter. Uh, and of course the colors. So, I know. You want me to stop talking, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys. So we've already seen this one, which I'll compare before we uh, end the review. But I just wanted to say this thing is a monster. It's really, really warm. And it is fairly easy to get back in this little pouch. Um, it being so big, you would think it'd be a little bit hard, but it's, it definitely wasn't the case. You just do that, you go that around a little bit and put this over here for now. Uh, and it's 
I mean, you can tell right away when you unfold it, the, the weight difference and the thickness of it. It is super, super thick, but uh, it's only two more pounds than the other one. And uh, it's the same material, same design, but as you can see, it's a lot wider. And I'll show you guys the side by side here in a minute. <coughs> and of course, <clears throat> I need a bigger camera and a bigger room. Uh, of course, the same pattern as you see. And you get the same um, Venture Forth logo. And I, I, guys, I wish you could see the thickness difference. I mean, it's just, you know what, let's just break the other one out and do a side-by-side. -side. Uh, I'm really excited to use this um, this spring. Uh, kind of put it to the test with this one. We'll break this one out real quick. Uh, one of the owners, his name is Patricia, and she's been really, really super kind to me. Uh, we've, we've chatted back and forth multiple times. Uh, she's just a really, really outgoing uh, owner of the company. Um, she likes the outdoors too, of course. As you can see, there's a color difference, of course. And I'm going to put the smaller one on top. That way, kind of give you guys an idea. I mean, it's not a whole lot wider, but in a sense, it's a lot wider. I know that don't make sense. <laughs> I know I'm kind of confusing you guys, but I mean, you're talking, you know, that much difference. And I don't know if I'd be able to get this on film or not. Let's take the head. I'll come up to you guys. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell the thickness of this. And this is the big one. I mean, it's just a huge difference uh, in like fluffiness too, as well. Uh, and again, this is a lot wider. As you can see, you can't even tell. You can't even see me. I hold it up like that, and I'll do another quick uh, comparison for you guys, just to make sure you you can tell the difference. These are really, really nice sleeping bags. Like, probably the nicest ones I've ever owned. Uh, as far as customer service, Patricia is a really super kind lady. Uh, let's see if I can get that. And you really can't tell. But I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll lay them out, some screenshots in the video, or at the end of the video to kind of give you a comparison. Uh, the, the size difference um, and like I said the, the main noticeable difference is the thickness of the three season it's just really thick it's soft uh, and like I said you can you can really move around in this and of course at your velcro do that and you can of course unfold it and it's just really really super soft inside uh, guys, if you're interested in owning one of these sleeping bags, I'll put all the links in the description box below. If you want to own a soft sleeping bag that'll keep you warm, uh, venture forth, I would say give them a shot. Uh, I'll leave all the links in the description box below. I'd like to thank Patricia uh, for sending this one out to review. I really appreciate uh, She's been super cool, like I said. Um, I'll leave all the specs in the description box as well. One last thing. See if I can do this. And you guys can see how thick that is. That's just the side of it. And then you get the big boy. I mean, just it's like a night and day difference. If you're wanting something super thick and cozy, definitely get the three season one. It might be a little bit more pricey, uh, but it's definitely worth it. Um, the summer sleeping bag, definitely another good pick. It's not uh, as wide as the three season one. Uh, but it's it's definitely a night and day difference. Uh, thank you guys uh, for sticking around for this review. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, Patricia, thank you very much uh, for sending this out. Everything will be linked down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, until the next review, guys. Peace.